guys, welcome to uh, Aria's birthday. My granddaughter's birthday today. Oh, don't, 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 don't. There's a nest outside our house. Oh, that's nice. To eat it. Yeah, don't eat it. Anyway, that's the second bird that came in this morning. What is the? What do birds mean? Look Tell me. Bird, Look at that bird. It's Just like. Yeah, was the other one speckled? Sophie caught one this morning. Actually, Gabby's our resident bird catcher. She's just it's a speckled wren. I don't know what kind it is. The yeah, roof. they just take right off. <laughs> Did he hit the window? No. Oh, what are you doing there, birdie? He's still having a heart attack. He's like, help, there's a dog licking me. Go away, I think they're babies. I don't know that. Yeah. That one looks grown up. The other one's one, bigger than the other. Now. The other one looked like a baby for sure. What are you doing? You're okay. There's a lot of core strength to keep himself up there. Yeah, a lot of core strength to keep yourself up there. Uh-oh, he's stuck. <gasps> Daisy's like, I will eat you! <laughs> They're all like, I will eat you! Why do they love our house so much? I don't know. Something needs to be sealed up. Anyways, what is the sign of birds? Like, it's the second bird this morning. Today's a big day. I don't know what birds mean. What do birds, birds mean? Birds house mean death. I know, I always feel like birds are, are a bad sign. I don't know why I feel like that. But anyway, today is Aria's birthday. She's my granddaughter. She's one today, and Sam and I are headed there to celebrate with her. So we're the kind of grandmas that... that we're the Man, kind of, so I'm a grandma. You're kind of a grandma. You're more of a grandma than me. Well, I have a beard, so yeah, I'm a grandma. So, <laughs> so uh, we're the kind of grandparents that have to see our grandkids on their birthday. So we're headed uh, for a little bit of a drive. So if you staying home uh, because she was sick yesterday and she's fine today, but I don't know. I thought it was too much sun. I don't know for sure though. And I don't want to take any risk because yeah, she's just a baby. So she's staying home and then Gabby's staying home with her. It's dark and dreary and cool today. I'm super excited to see at my grandkids. I'm starting Aria off with her first Schleich. I'll show you guys later. Uh, actually, it was sent to us by one of you guys, and Sophie already has those ones, Gabby already has those ones, so I'm going to give them to Aria. I, didn't, I don't know if I told you guys this, but a long ago when she was just a baby and I was holding her, I had this crazy feeling come over me. It was like God said, she's your horse girl, and yeah, it's just so weird. Like, I wasn't even thinking about her being a horse girl, but God was trying to tell me, I felt like God was trying to tell me that she is going to be our horse girl, and she's going to love horses, and... I'm gonna start her little like collection on her first birthday. All right, we are here at Baby Jack's house. Are you Baby Jack? Are you Baby Jack? Yeah. Yeah. Jeez, look. You see? Say hi, everybody. Jack is two and a half now, you guys. And look at we brought Aria some. Oh, you wanna see? We brought Aria uh, some horses. We brought her a mama horse. Mama unicorn and a baby unicorn. What? A mommy corn. A mommy corn and a what's that one? Baby corn. A baby corn. You guys, it's a mommy. Hi, mommy corn. Yeah. And do you know what a horse says? <laughs> do you know what a horsey says? It says nay. 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 Do you remember Nana has horses? Yeah. Yeah. That got a. A uh, fire truck. You got a fire truck? I love it. Oh, the birthday girl. Playing with your dad. Look at that. I can't believe she's won. What'd you get, sister? It's Aria's birthday and Gabby got presents. Oh, that's really cool. Let's see it. Is it just the plastic thing or the hard thing, the butterfly thing? Yeah. That's really cool. She got this butterfly plastic case for her eye AirPods. Oh, does Kaylee have similar ones? Can't be sure. Yeah, that's pretty small. That's pretty Usually small. Gabby asked me for approval before she buys something. Oh, you said you were getting a tank top. Oh, uh, yeah. I thought, I thought it was a tank. Yeah, skank top. Skank top. Tank top. It's fine. See, that's 
Uh, I'm pretty sure you have to. That's gonna come right underneath your boobs. No. I don't think she knew how small that was. Put it, put it up to your shoulders, all the way at your shoulders. All right. Well, it might be okay. I have a shirt that's smaller than this. It's like half the size. And it fits. This, and it fits. All right. Is that it? Just one shirt? Well, let's see. So she got two phone cases. It's the plain black one. Is it just plain black? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So super cute. I like the other one better. What is that on it? What is it? Clouds? Yeah. Is it actually clouds? Uh, yeah. I think you're being sarcastic. We also got blue light glasses. Super cute. Today is the day. Today is the day. Today is the day we're going to see if Gabby's going to chance because basically Chino got a small uh, stone bruise the other day and if he's not okay, then Baby, chances are he's not going to be okay by the weekend. And the weekend is the show. Hi, baby boy. Hello, baby boy. You get your ear out of your face. Oh, my goodness. If he oh, likes it better like that, you're going to have to fix it. Look. His ear. Take that right off of him, actually, and we'll just check yeah, him. Yeah. All right. So, we're going to ride you and see how you are. Hi. Hi, big handsome man. They look happy. Okay. You guys, I have dropped this camera so many times this last couple of days. It's just been bad. Bad, bad, bad. Nobody wants to buy a new camera. I've learned a way to fumble it so that it just falls carefully to the ground. All right, so Sully was not going to ride Finn today. And then, then she was going to ride Finn a bareback. And now all of a sudden I see a saddle on her. Because, oh, I also have one sock, one sock on and no sock. One sock and no sock. So she was supposed to have her lesson tonight with Brandon, but I don't know about, like, she, she seems okay. She seems healthy and normal again, but I just want to make sure she didn't have, like, some kind of flu or or cold or whatever. Like, I'm not taking her around people. Okay? 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 So there's a big, huge pile of hay in the arena. <laughs> Gabby just jumped right on. <laughs> she almost jumped over. Oh my goodness. All right. So basically this is going to be an easy little ride. We're going to see how Chino is and hopefully he's good. He's not scared of what? This, unless I try to get on this from oh. on him. So she says that he's not scared of the wagon, the hay wagon. But look at how nice. The, this guy's got really nice hay. Like when our chiropractor, mmm, smells so good. When our chiropractor comes, he always, she always says like we have such good hay here. All right, Chino, show us what you got. Show us, buddy. No lameness. No lameness. That's what we want. You've got to go to champs and win. We don't care if we win. We just want to go to champs and have a good time. You've got to win, Gabby says. All right, what's happening over here? So we always give our horses a day off after a show, and Finn was actually going to have two days off, which I think is completely appropriate after that big show he did. If you guys don't know, he became reserve champion. And you know what? He's always peeing now. Like, not a lot. Like, he's not over peeing, but he, he pees in front of us now. And he is never... He doesn't like when people watch him pee. Yeah, he doesn't like when people watch him. <gasps> Don't come near me, he says. I gotta pee. Can't look at him. Yeah, that's our horse. He's a perfectionist. He's shy. He's very, like, private about his body. <laughs> so he's... <we, laughs> so <we still laughs> gotta not look. The look, you got <laughs> How many of you guys turn around, turn your head away so that your horse doesn't feel uncomfortable when they're peeing? Oh, he looks good. He looks good. He looks ready. It's probably helped him being off a couple of days so that he can catch the weight back up. The problem with his eating is that he has as much hay as he wants to eat. And maybe Finn. <laughs> it take a while. Maybe he is literally just using this as a ploy not to be ridden. Oh, he didn't pee. All right. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, he really does have to pee. Don't look. That's that's weird. He always does take a while to pee. He always has. Okay, it's dropping down now. There he goes. He did it. <laughs> Don't look, you guys. All right, comment down below right now. You think Chino's better? All he had was a, just a slight stone bruise. Now I can get 
I see him out of peeing problem. Good so boy. Yeah, because you let him pee. Horses like to be listened to. Horses doesn't need to feel no, listened. Fit, Who does? Not really massive, just... Who threw a fit? Not massive, but he just tossed his head. Chino dead? He wants to go! Chino boy wants to go! He's excited! Okay, so we've been walking for a while now. I have the weirdest feeling that Gabby's afraid to trot because she doesn't want all of her dreams crushed. Crushed. Yeah, I'm gonna video for Fiona, alright you guys? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, you guys can't watch this. Alright, so Finn, Finn's going slow with molasses. He's like, let's just walk a little. Let's just go slow. <laughs> I think like him doing the jumpers and going really fast really has a good effect on him because it, it uses up his energy. He, like the he has a lot of energy. I just sent the videos right, to Fiona. Oh, okay, I have to do the other way. All right, so Gabby thought that he felt like a tiny bit off on the very first video that I was making. And then all of a sudden he settled right into it. And so I sent them to Fiona and she said that in the first video, he looked like he was still favoring the one foot a tiny bit and then in the rest of the videos, he looked completely fine. So she thinks maybe he was just favoring it because he was afraid that it was gonna hurt, but we don't know. I took some more, like we wanna be extra cautious. Extra cautious. So Sophie took off the Pelham rein so that she could ride him in the snaffle because he's always really good in the snaffle after he has had the Pelham. She said better than last week. But, but still not a hundred percent, but almost. So can I ride him still? Uh, I don't think so. Let me start, check. So we're not riding Chino. I have to, ride it. I have to practice for the jumper shot. Um, When's the barrier coming? I don't know. I have to still check with him. So Sophie's practicing her sit trot. You gotta hold your hand still, so. So our farrier is coming either Wednesday or Friday. And I don't know what day he's coming because he comes from really far away. He comes from like three hours away and he's really good and he's really amazing, but he can't just show up here. And it can be tricky getting him here. And so if he puts like a pad on it, that it, it will give him like a cushion and he won't, I don't know. Fiona thinks that a pad is gonna make him not be sore, but if he already has a bruise, I don't, I feel like a pad is gonna prevent him from getting sore again, so I honestly don't know. But she, he's much better, she said. She said he's like so close to being good, but I don't know if she's gonna get to go to the show, and if she doesn't, then that means no champs, and I don't wanna break her heart. It's devastating, like devastating news, you guys. Like, ugh been a rough day. Two birds flew in our house today, too. And sometimes it means good luck and sometimes it means bad luck. So I'm gonna call the farrier again tomorrow and tell him the problem and see if he can come sooner. Good. You're stopping because you did do, you were a good boy? Good boy, yeah, he said yeah. All right. You can't breathe? You didn't run fast enough. I'm not sure I've got caught on my helmet. <laughs> what the heck? I got this. No! <laughs> okay. He's like, I will come to you. I'm going. <laughs> He's spooked. He runs away from me. Runs me over. No, he I think when they stand like that and swing their leg over, I think it's a western saddle. It has to be a western saddle. They do a bareback. Oh, well yeah, a bareback would be easier. They do a bareback. They're shorter than me with a taller horse than mine. All right, do it. I can't. I, I can't jump. <laughs> <laughs> Almost on his butt. Almost on his butt. He's sick. All right, I can do it. <laughs> On his butt. That was a toe. Was more on his butt. That was a right toe. Foot. A toe on his butt. I used to get super stressed out when things would happen, like 
our horse would be lame right before a show or whatever. But then I always remind myself that God always has a plan for everything and it might not seem like it at the time, but everything always works out exactly the way it's meant to in the end. So we're just gonna play it by ear and see what happens. I'm gonna phone the farrier again tomorrow and see if he can fit us in sooner or what he wants us to do. I don't know if that'll even make a difference. I don't know, we're gonna just see what happens if he doesn't go to the show on Sunday. Fiona has another show for you. What do you think? You don't want to go to another show? I don't. They have jumpers at the end of the day. I don't like your shows. The posse is waiting for supper. They're all waiting. There's Penny. Get away! I'm going first! Come on! Come on! Oh, come on. This dog does not like to come down at night. So this is what we do. She comes down for five seconds and then she goes back to the house, scratches on the door, and then we call and say, let Come Daisy on. in. Oh, she's coming. Never mind. Anyways, we're home. So time for the horses to have supper. I'm here invading Sam's space again. He doesn't like me here when he just puts the horses in, but look at those gorgeous ears. You're such a pretty Penny. She is such a beautiful Penny. Penny would be a great, oh, Penny would be a great name for a chestnut. You're right, you ready? Look at how gorgeous, I love her eyes all filled in. Be nice. Oh, Let them, oh. <laughs> it's coming, it's time, hold on. All right, Penny, he says you can go in, hold on. Such good, well-trained ponies. Well, except for that all their bums are hanging out. Get in, get in. All right, I love summer, I love fall. It actually feels like fall here now. It's cold at night and cold in the morning and then hot during the day. Like hot enough you could wear shorts or you don't have to wear shorts, you could wear jeans. My favorite time of the year, I love fall. Fall is like the best. All the dogs just ran by me. Come on! Anyway, that is it for today. Pray for Chino. If you're a praying person, pray for Chino. Pray for Gabby. Like, she's going to be devastated if she doesn't get to realize her dream of going to Champs. And I just don't see how it will happen unless Chino's better, like, tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the